Good morning. Can you hear me over there? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I got to get the Attorney General in another window here, just a moment, and then we're going to start. Okay. Apparently, the Attorney General's with uh, another case right now. Uh, any indication how long that's going to be? But while we're waiting on the Attorney General, I can ask counsel, do you have an advice or rights form over there? We do, Your Honor. We signed it, and uh, okay, uh, we were told a copy's been sent to the court. Yeah, they'll they'll get us a copy. All right. I guess we're going to have the Attorney General in here in just a moment. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Let me ask counsel, do you have a copy of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. <laughs> You do? Okay, good. I'm advised about two minutes. Thank you, Your Honor. First, that's court time, so I don't know. That could be two weeks. You never know. <laughs> okay, here goes. All right, there. Our Attorney General, can you hear me? I can, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, Your Honor, I can. Thank okay, you. Good. Okay, everybody can hear me and everybody can see me, I assume. If for any reason you can't hear me or you can't see me at any time during these proceedings, let me know, raise your hand, indicate in some fashion. This is case number 21G00046SM, People of the State of Michigan versus Richard Dale Snyder. Uh, I'm Judge Odette, good morning. You want to identify yourselves for the record, please. Brian Toskowitz on behalf of the people, Your Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. Brian Lennon on behalf of the Honorable Rick Snyder. All right. I have a uh, uh, an indictment here charging two misdemeanor counts. Counsel, are you waiving the formal reading of the charges or do you want me to read it into the record? We are waiving, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. Are you waiving the formal reading of the rights? Yes, Your Honor. All right. I understand that you have a signed advice of rights form that you've submitted to the court or are about to submit to the court. Um, or it's in transit or someplace. But anyway, we'll get that in a minute. All right. This case is being assigned to Judge Crawford. I'm going to set a pretrial hearing. The initial one he schedules for January 19th at 8.30. He's located here in the McCree building in City of Flint uh, on the north side of the building. Let's uh, talk about bond. People wish to address bond? Uh, just briefly, Your Honor, uh, the court and people are aware of the intense publicity surrounding this case, as well as the challenges facing the criminal justice system due to the ongoing pandemic. Based upon that, Your Honor, we ask that you set a reasonable bond in accordance with MCR uh, 6.106, .06, at least at the very minimum, Your Honor, that he, the defendant be required to appear at all court dates, will not leave the state without permission of the court, and will not commit any crime while released. In addition, Your Honor, because uh, the governor is a man of... Uh, national international contacts and a man of me uh, and a, a man of means as well we're asking that he surrender his passport as well as not to have any contact with any other defendants that were charged in this matter thank you thank you mr lennon on behalf of uh, mr snyder good to address bond thank you your honor we're asking for a personal recognizance bond your honor and no travel restrictions Governor Snyder is the first former governor since William Milliken, who's remained in the state of Michigan. He's not a risk of flight or a danger to the community, and he's facing two misdemeanor charges. So uh, we oppose uh, uh, turning in his passport or any of those other conditions that, that are unnecessary in this case. All right. Thank you. He, uh, you're living in the state of Michigan right now. Is that correct? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All right. I'm going to set uh, each count here. They're both misdemeanor charges. I'll set a $10,000 personal bond on each count with the standard conditions. 
including that he personally appear for any future court hearings, either in this court or in Judge Crawford's court or any other court that uh, if I by any directions of the court that uh, the only travel restriction I'll indicate is to not leave the state of Michigan without permission of the court. You're not to commit any crimes, obviously, while released. I'm not going to have him surrender his passport on a misdemeanor charge. Uh, and we'll ask that you also notify the court in writing of any change of address or telephone numbers and uh, any of the other standard terms. Any questions about that? None from the people, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. All right. The next hearing is January 19th, 8.30 a.m. Judge Crawford is the assigned judge. Any questions by either party? Nothing from the people, Your Honor. Just for the record, of course, Your Honor, not guilty charges are, are uh, pleas on each charge. Thank you. Yes, sir. Better pleas than not guilty. Thank you. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.